This is the woman, police tell us, killed her three-year-old son more than 30 years ago, and now she's on her way back to Nevada to face murder charges. Because investigators say they finally have enough evidence to prove she killed the little boy. Fox 5's Kyla Gaylor is digging into the case. This is the same woman who reported her son missing at a North Las Vegas swap meet back in 1986. Three-year-old Francion Pierre. Amy Fleming claimed her toddler wandered away from her and her then fiance Lee Luster. North Las Vegas police told us over the last few years, new witnesses have come forward. Now they're confident Pierre was already dead when Fleming went to that swap meet and they say she killed him. We're talking about a three-year-old little boy. <clears throat> Those were always the worst kind of cases to work. In. Bob King was one of the original detectives to work the case of missing three-year-old Francion Pierre. Decades later, he still gets emotional talking about the little boy. After 32 years, this is one case in my career that I was felt uncomfortable about. Um, the fact that I could not resolve it successfully. Until last week. Florida officers arrested Amy Fleming, Pierre's mother. To say that I was uh, uh, overjoyed, I gotta say, personally, I was. 2017 gave police a big break in the case. Someone applied for a birth certificate in Pierre's name. It sparked new interest in the case. During the next year and a half, our detectives worked diligently going over the entire case file. Fleming and her husband, Lee Luster, were suspects since the beginning. The same year Pierre went missing, a judge sent the couple to jail because Detective King said the two lied to him. They, quote, hindered and delayed his investigation. The two wrote letters to each other. Detectives even went to the extent of piecing together multiple jail letters between Fleming and Luster that had been torn into dozens of small pieces. They found something. Amy wrote in one of the letters, she stated, what happened was totally unintentional. I'm sorry, I hope you know that. About eight months before Pierre went missing, Fleming admitted, quote, she had whipped Francion with a belt because he had wet the bed while at the babysitter's house. That left about 25 to 30 welts on his back. We definitely believe that child abuse could have played a factor in this homicide. Detectives never found Pierre's body. They're still hoping Fleming will tell them where the boy is. We've interviewed Ms. Fleming two times. On one occasion, she spoke to us. On another occasion, she did not. Fleming's husband, Lee Lester, is still free in Florida. In fact, he posted this handwritten note on their front door. It's long, but part of it reads, my wife did not murder her son. We called the Palm Beach County Jail. They told us Fleming is already gone, being extradited back to Nevada right now. We'll, of course, let you know when she's expected in court here in the Valley. Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.